So because we just shampooed the hair, we didn't condition it, I want to be very careful and very gentle in the detangling process. This is what you want, but um, it just keeps the body, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to work in small sections. I want to be as gentle as I can. And just again, starting from the bottom, working my way up. Again, the shampoo is a really great moisturizing shampoo, so it leaves the hair feeling almost as if it was conditioned. Now, one of my tricks for detailing the sides on the front is holding the hair in the direction as it was laying in the shampoo bowl. So rather than bring this hair down in this direction to try and detangle, I'm going to hold it back in this direction since that's how it was coming into the shampoo bowl. And I'll start to detangle that way. It'll make the detangling process a lot easier. And then once I have it all nice and detangled, then I will bring it down so I can section this off. Now because the straightener has to be applied to wet hair and a pretty good amount of wetness needs to be in that hair. I'm going to pin this all up. I'm going to twist it up so it can retain as much of the moisture. We will keep a water bottle handy in case we do need to moisten the hair up as we go along. And again, I'm just going to repeat on the other side. Sectioning the front. Again, just small sections, detangling. Working my way from the bottom to the top. Make easy work of that. And again, I want to just take this back since that's the way her head was in the shampoo bowl. The hair all came in this direction. So I find that combing it or brushing it out in this way helps to detangle a lot more efficiently and it certainly makes it a lot more comfortable for the client. So once I got it all detangled, then I can drop it down and bring it forward. So that way it can be out of the way. Now I'm not liking that part too much, it's not really clean enough, so I'm gonna work on that a bit. A very nice clean parting. And there we go. And again, just twisting it so that way it can maintain some of that moisture. So that's pretty much the second stages of cleansing and prepping and preparing the hair. And then now we're gonna get into the chemical service. All right, so I'm gonna clean that up a bit more. I'm not liking it, it's like So most of what we've seen so far, I mean, most hairdressers are gonna be like, okay, boring. <laughs> like, they know this stuff. This is like the basic stuff, but now we're gonna get into more intense. <laughs> 